today's tutorial last time I talked about the items in the home menu I talked about copy paste bold italize alignment left right bullet and so on and so forth find and replace today I'm going to talk about the insert menu I'm going to talk about the items I'm not going to talk about every single item. I'm going to pick most um, of the popular items here, and I will try as much as I can to explain what they do. I'm going to start here. The first item here is the cover page. Every project, every document, every book has a cover page. Like if you come here and click. You will see some designs for the cover page, so you can simply pick anyone that you are okay with, anyone you like. Remember, you can come here under more cover page to get more designs. So I can click on this one, motion. And this is it, it will load. So you can start editing it. You can replace these pictures. You can um, type whatever you want to type here. Or select the dates. You just customize it the way you want. That's the first item, the cover page. Now, the next item here is the blank page. Blank page is simply to insert a new page. Like this document now, there's a page one here, which is a cover page, and then there's a another page here, page two. If you look down here, you see page two of two. Now you can click here to insert um additional pages. You can see once you click the this is it's three pages now this document is three pages if you click again you see it has changed the more you click the more pages it will add to the document the shortcut for this is control enter you hold on your control key on the keyboard and press enter another the next item here is page break. How does page break work? Okay, let me bring um, in a dummy text right here. I'll copy this dummy text and paste it in my document. Okay, in MS Word, as you type, as you keep typing. When it gets to the end of the line, it will go to the next line. This is how it's going to behave till you get to the end of the page. Once you get to the end of the page, it will jump to another page. But there are times that you don't really want to get to the end of the page before jumping to another page. So you can simply click page break from wherever you are to stop right there and jump to a new page that is the work of this um page break another thing is table sometimes you, you may need to work with tables you just click here you would have um known the number of rows and columns that you need so you just move your mouse across let's say we wanted eight columns and five rows you move it 
from left to right you count eight columns then you come down five steps to make it eight columns and five rows then you click now when you click it will insert the table word will insert the table automatically this place will change this is a property bar it changes depending on what you are doing so here you can um, do some adjustments you can click to change the design of the table and other th other things the additional options there and click this one for instance you see all these uh, options that you you can use to format your table to make it look the w exactly the way you want now this is a table let's say you this table is um eight columns and five rows so if you wanted more rows for instance you have to come to the last um cell here and tap and click tap on your keyboard it will add additional um, rows you call me again repeat the same step repeat the same steps because if you if you go back to this um insert table and click here you see that the number of rows are limited so we have eight rows here so you can use this method to extend the table more than eight, eight rows you keep pressing tab when you come to this um last cell here and press tab come over here and repeat the same process until you get the number of rows that you need if you want to work on this table for instance you can come to this handle and double click once you double click it will bring out the properties here So you can do other things. You can type in the box the way you want, whatever you want. You can type in the box. Now, I talked about the rows. The, you can also increase the number of columns by coming to Insert Table. Then you click the Draw Table option. Draw Table. Once you click it. You see this pencil here you can now use it you click on the line and drag to add more you see you click you see to add more now when you do this you see like I said earlier it activates the property of this um, table here you can erase, you pick your eraser, move across the lines to delete some things, see, like this. When you are done with the eraser, you go back there and click. See, it will go away. Remember, you can double click to do other things. You can come here, insert, draw table. see to bring out other things there are a whole lot of things here that you can do here this table you 
you can click here for instance and say insert above that's in you insert another row you can come here and say insert below to insert a row below this place you can highlight cells these two cells for instance or this one for instance and say merge cells you see it has merged it I love this you can click here and say split cells how do you want to split it you want to split it into two columns and one row whatever you want to do say okay see and so on and so forth so you feel free to do whatever you want to do to make the necessary adjustments now if you want to expand like um, the column for instance you just come here when the arrow changes when the shape changes to this um, shape this the this shape is um, two arrows facing opposite direction you can then click and drag to where you want it to be to expand to you see the same thing applies here you can move it vertically down you know to resize it now this text is where this um icons come in this is um this is a take direction but vertically and horizontally if you click here you click that's the, the position that's um it is aligned to the left top left here top center top right vertically center left vertically center center vertically center right vertically down left down center down right another thing is the text direction you see this is the text direction and so on and so forth so I'm going to leave um, the table I move something else so go back to my insert the next thing here is pictures so I'm gonna click pictures now there are two options here the first one is this insert pictures from this device what this means is on this computer you can insert a picture that is already in your computer wherever maybe on your desktop under download document your flash drive your phone and so on and so forth the other one is online pictures so you can browse pictures directly maybe from yahoo or google or ask wherever so let's start with this one insert pictures from this device so we click So I have I have some pictures on this system so I can just um, come here and click insert I'll click on the picture and click insert so when you insert the picture you can resize it remember what to talk up what I said about um, this um, place this is a property bar it keeps changing depending on what you are doing so when you insert the picture for instance this place will change and it will give you options these are options that you can apply to your picture to what you are doing at hand in this case we are working on um, a picture an image so we can remove the background we can change the color for instance click here you see you can come to here and 
change the pictures there's artistic effects can make it blur can compress the picture we can change the picture compression means the picture if the picture is um maybe 50 kilobytes for instance you can compress it and make it 20 kilobytes that's what this place is talking about now i can come here and say change picture change this is very important because let's assume you have um you have arranged your documents for instance let me drag this picture up to this point let's say you have a picture like this you are finished arranging your documents but you want to change this picture to another picture without scattering the documents this option comes in handy so you can click, simply click on the picture and say replace picture remember we are still working from file so we can come here and click this one then you say insert you see it replaces the picture and the new picture takes the same dimension of the old picture that is the beauty of this um, change picture it doesn't come in bigger than the other picture so it doesn't distort your document it comes in and fits into the space that the, the other picture had so let's move on these are other um, effects can apply to your pictures look at this now we have other items here picture border that's the color the border color here we have effects some of these things are repeated then we have picture layouts can decide to use all this um, um layouts to you know to just give your picture a different layout make it look different arrange it in another way inserts and a lot more so I'll go to the second option insert picture from online this simply goes to the internet to search for a picture so if you are not connected to the internet there's no way you can get a picture you can use this feature so since we are using Microsoft and they have their own search engine which is Bing you just click here and then um, search for something let's say Chelsea football club now you hit your enter put it on the keyboard I think I'm okay with the first one just click insert you check the picture and you click insert you see when you insert a picture it comes in very big especially if the picture resolution is high it will be very big so you can reduce it to whatever you want it whatever size you you want and then you can apply those things that we talked about now let's talk about this one this is a position as a top left center top right middle center 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 right bottom left bottom right bottom center bottom right search picture Chelsea
so while this um, picture is still selected we have the wrap text wrap text means if you have a text and a picture you want the text to wrap around the picture this feature is if you look at um, your magazines and um, newspapers you see pictures that are wrapped around text this is how to get it you come here pick the various options see in line square tight make it closer true top and bottom which is almost like in line text behind text which I I don't know why anyone will use this method behind text well let's see you are trying to hide part of the picture then this is even more confusing in front of text in front of text means that the picture will be in front of the text which means that it is covering some part of the text which to me doesn't really make any sense then I'll move forward we'll move to something else here the next item here is um, shapes we can insert so many type of shapes this is a text box which we are going to discuss later inside text box when you click on this text box you see this is what we have the shape you so you click and drag to draw your text box come here shapes you can draw this is a straight line you click click it and drag across to draw your line in this line for instance you can come here and change it line thickness come here and make it dotted line come here and make it um, line with arrow and so on and so forth let's continue there are other shapes so many shapes you click and drag you can come here and change it to black or change it to this color then you can smiley insert insert smart arts smart arts are maybe shapes shapes that um, describe a process for instance that that shapes that represent what you are trying to say we have a lot of them here we have lists we have process we have circle we have hierarchy relationship metrics pyramid pictures and so on and so forth so let's start with list just trying to list a random something just come here quick then click inside and I did it takes this is a this is a text this is a list you see we have a list doesn't have a a particular sequence is just a random list you can come here and change the style click here click here click here yeah. just just change it to what you want 
another thing is under the smart art you can come and pick another one or have picked um list random list then we talk about um the second one is um process let me do that again smart art process we can click on this one we can process I say egg We can change the shape. We we'll change the shape. Say baby, whatever you, can, you get a message. So, this is a process. That's process for you. you come here and then um, I'll do one more and then we can move to something else. In the pyramid. things now that's for smart arts and come to chat we use chat to represent information in a tabular form we have various charts Let me pick the pie chart for instance. Where you insert your pie chart. Remember all these things are under the insert menu. Insert means bringing bringing in items. We started with the cover page, blank page break table, pictures and so on. Now we are on um, chart. 
now when you bring in your charts automatically it will bring ex excel because um excel is deals with tables and columns so this is where we edit our data so that i can reflect um i can reflect in our chart now we can change the chart type if we not like it we can change the chart type we we'll change it to bar chart trim up some burst see whatever you enter in in here will reflect here now the next one is um screenshot you can screenshot something from here screenshot something I'm bring it straight into your word documents come here under inserts screenshots I click screenshots and click on something entirely different come here screenshots that screenshot for you now the other things here I'll, I'll skip some and jump to online videos just like online pictures you can bring in online videos into your documents for instance if you click here remember we are still on the insert online video you click and you type the URL of your video for instance this video I'm playing on YouTube I can come here and click a video and I want to reference it in my in my tutorial can come to the URL the address right click copy come down here and paste in this space then I say insert see the video has been inserted into my document so I can play it from here another thing I want to talk about is um is link link simply means to link your document or to link a text or a picture or object to something you can link it it takes if you are very familiar with them um, the internet you know that sometimes you click a link and then it takes you to another place now the same thing applies in MS Word let's um, use our dummy text once again a copy and paste here now look at this where does it come from this is the heading I can decide to link this header by highlighting it come here and click link now when you open your link um, when this box the dialog box opens 
this is the display text the same text that is here where does it come from now if you look at this place you will see the first option link to existing file or web page existing file is a document on the computer or a web page the second option is um place in this document a place in this document if this document was a 10 page document for instance i can link something to the last page or to the page 8 or page 7 and so on and so forth now i can also link it in a way that when i click here it will create a new document or if i click it will take me to an email so if i type an email for instance i highlight the email i can click here so that anytime i click on that link it will take me to an email so i'll i'll, I'll take one or two examples and then we'll skip this one move to something else existing file or web page now let's do web page if you are doing web page in this address i'm going to paste I'll come here and copy this is a youtube um url then i'll come here and paste then I'll click OK so if I want to see how it works I'll come here hold down my control key and click when I do that it launches the web page in my default browser in this case um microsoft urge is my default browser so it takes me right there i need to open the page the internet is quite slow so I'll just pause it and go back to what I was doing so that's that the second one is to I'm going to highlight this one I'll link it existing document existing file so this is document I can browse, I can change the location to desktop for instance. I can come to my desktop and link it to a document on my desktop. It's agenda for meeting. Or I can link it to this music for instance i'll click ok now if, you, if i come here and i hold down my control and click it says would you like to open fire blah 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 security harmful i already know what it says i say ok remember i linked it to a musical file so let's see what happens
Nothing's going to change if you're not willing to change. I want you to keep it consistent and keep it in balance. Use your power. You have the ability. I can close it and continue. The next item here is comment. Can come here, click. I can add a comment to these documents. Click here and add a comment. This comment is additional explanation to something I'm writing, for instance. If I send it to somebody, it gives additional information about that. I can insert as many comments as I want. I just click where you want it and click comment. You can come here and add more comments. Now, click on it and um, delete comments right click delete comments I right click and delete then we come to header header is writing something inside the upper the top margin it allows you to write something in the top margin like um, page title page um, numbering and so on and so forth so in the header for instance we can come here and click this one you see this is the page header we can use it to put for our document use it to write a title or simply use it to add a, a page number now when you double click here you can edit a lot of things so let me close go back to insert header and come here scroll down I have so many options to pick from and click here see it gives me three options I can type whatever I want in these spaces for the header I can add date document info and so on if you're writing a project for instance and then um, you needed to start a page without writing the um, the numbers you can use this one this options I'm not going to explain further in this tutorial so I just leave it here the next one is um the footer which is the, almost the same thing just that it comes under a document you can come here the same thing here under the footer the next one is a page number you can decide where you want to place your page number all these things are under the insert menu here this is top left top center top right And put a round page number at the top so this is what we have here the next thing here is the text box the text box allows you to place your text anywhere you want in your document it is flexible it is easy you can even use it to write a doc um, a, write a text on top of another object be it image or just any shape so we can click on the text box then we type something then we click and drag it to any position that you want to place it that is the beauty of the text box the text box also allows you to put an image inside you can put an image inside the text box 
while still clicking in the text box you put an image inside the text box you see it will take the size of the text box the text box refuse it can move the text box around it gives you this kind of flexibility if you want to remove the line around the text box you just double click the text box and then it will come here you can change the color the fill color that is the inside color the outline color you can come here and say no color to remove the color around the text box insert quick parts auto text automatic text you can come here and add document properties come here and add the address Lagos Nigeria so this is it now another thing we can do here is um what art these are just fancy text you click and then you type you can use it for your header or just to beautify your document so that's it it comes in sets now I want to touch on something else. If you look at newspapers, you will see that most times the first text is very big and it goes across maybe one or two lines. This is what they use. They call it drop cap. You can't even see it from the picture what well, it does. So I'm going to select this, this text. I'll click here and drop cap. So what we're talking about see there's another one but this is the most popular this goes across three lines so you can click here or you come here and say options under option you can say none you can come here you can decide the number of lines you can make it one two three four and so on so i'll make it two click see so that is that the last thing I want to talk about is um, the equation you can come here on the insert these are these ones are fairly simple so I'm going to leave them out the equation you can come here and build your equation under the insert menu you click insert you come to equations and then you click bring in equations then Inserts, you can bring in symbols. Any symbol you need, either you use um, this um, equation to build your equation, or if your equation is not listed here, you can go under more equation to search for whatever you are looking for, or you use your symbol here 
to build your own equation by just picking each object come here and insert you see so that's it for the insert menu I thank you for watching um, please subscribe to my channel like share click the notification button so that you can get notice of my new tutorials and watch out for the next tutorial on the design menu the design menu is actually very short and straightforward so i'm looking forward to seeing you thank you for watching once again Thank you.